Cornish Cross, and they are about three weeks old. About a week later than I like to have them out here, but again, that's how my schedule just works out. You can see that while the Red Rangers figured out right away how to escape the crate, the Cornish sadly have not. I'm doing a lot of things for the first time. These little guys down below the water bar have figured out how to use the drinkers already, which is a good thing. And the first thing they want to dive for is the food, but we do have this little guy back here who was doing some foraging. And what's funny is as they first come out, they start sampling what they want, eating grass blades and dandelion leaves and forage turnip and radish. Pretty cool. And he got some that just haven't quite figured out that the doors are open. But they'll figure it out eventually. These guys will be out here for about 30 days. That's about how long it takes to reach the end of the pasture. They have some birds that are ahead of them. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a difference. On the right, the grass is lower, and on the left, it's much higher. That's what they've eaten as they've gone along, and they've done a pretty good job of mowing it down. You know, not as good, of course, as the rabbits do, because, well, they're rabbits. That's what they've eaten. And that's a day and a half, roughly. And this is just how quickly it all recovers. I mean, the patch that I'm standing on so on the right side, hi Olivia, is uh, where they were for uh, a, a few days because the forage was very thick. So now they haven't been on this area for about a week and you can see the, the growth difference between the two. It's astonishing. Rabbit manure is a great fertilizer. Might as well let them leave it where it can be used. 